because as Red Bear, I actually have two of the flag's colors. That's right. You are red, white, and... but you're not blue. No, I'm a pretty happy guy. <laughs> yes, you are. All right, Red Bear, you ready to read about Memorial Day? Yes! Come on, kid! You get your flag ready? Let's go! Wow, he is ready to march in his own parade. All right, kid, here we go. Memorial Day book. Now, this is a big book. It's got a lot of chapters, so I'm picking out a few special chapters. And this one is, let's see, Some Gave All. Row after row of small U.S. flags stretch across a cemetery. Each one stands next to the grave of an American soldier. People walk quietly among the graves. Some stop to lay flowers on the gravestone. Today is the last Monday in May. It is Memorial Day in the United States. A memorial is a lasting tribute. It helps us to remember an important person, group, or event in history. Memorial Day was created to honor the brave people who were killed fighting in U.S. wars. It is the nation's promise that those who died in the line of duty will never be forgotten. Now, the book goes on to talk about the different wars that, um, that we remember. This is the Civil War, and then talks about um, Arlington, the cemetery that was built after um, Decoration Day, which was sort of an early version of Memorial Day. And then they put graves, that's what they call the Decoration Day, they would decorate the graves and put flowers for the fallen. That became a strong tradition and there was World War One and World War Two, So many wars and so many people who had to fight in them. Many Americans visit a cemetery or war monument on Memorial Day. They may attend a ceremony where veterans speak, a band plays, and the military fires a 21-gun salute. Boom. Each year, thousands of people travel to Arlington National Cemetery. They listen to the President of the United States give a speech, and the President also lays a tomb, a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The Tomb of the Unknowns holds the remains of several unidentified American soldiers from different wars. They all represent Americans who died for their country. A soldier always guards the tomb. Always. Now, there are lots of interesting and wonderful things that have been done to honor our veterans, sometimes in poem, sometimes in song. One of the most famous songs ever, and it happened to be one of Abraham Lincoln's favorite songs, is the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. You've probably heard that song before. It's one of the most beautiful songs ever. And then we have the Star Spangled Banner and Taps. Now, these are some of the questions that the book asks. Do you have any relatives or ancestors who died in the line of duty? You might want to interview family members, search through scrapbooks and photo albums to find out more about those people, because that's your history. You can visit a cemetery on Memorial Day where soldiers are buried, look for graves that have not been decorated, and you can place a flower or a flag there to pay your respects. Do you have a parent or a grandparent that is a veteran? You can ask them about their wartime experiences and how do they celebrate the holiday. You can spend Memorial Day visiting a local or a national war monument. You can learn about the war it represents and the people who gave their lives in battle. And this is important. 
On Memorial Day, remember to pause for a moment of silence at 3 p.m. to honor fallen soldiers. You can also attend a service, a parade, or a concert, and you can wear a poppy and get your friends to wear one too. That's a symbol of Memorial Day. And that is a little bit of the history of Memorial Day. It's a pretty big book because it's a pretty big holiday, but at least that gives you a start of how it's celebrated. Right, Red Bear? Absolutely. I'm gonna go march at a parade now. You are? Yes, I've got my flag, I've got my colors. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Happy Memorial Day, kid. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. And remember, freedom is not free. That's right, somebody always has to pay the price for us, and that's why we honor them. Thanks, kid. I hope you learned something valuable out of Memorial Day book today for our special Memorial Day edition of Kid Time Story Time. Ba 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 bum.